Hi everyone, in this video we'll design a simple and easy duct system. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! So, I will start this modeling by inserting an handling unit in the model. To do so, we come to the duct network toolbox and we select the handling unit uh, function. Uh, I will opt to insert an handling unit for house ventilation. So I'll select this handling unit 315 cubic meters per hour and I'll click OK. For the mounting height, I will select the distance 2.35 uh, and the reference as finished floor so that the handling unit will be over the suspended ceiling. So I'll click OK and I will move uh, the, the object to the installation room. To rotate the object, I can press and hold Ctrl key over a line until it uh, rotates the correct size, uh, the correct side I want, like this, this way. And then I will move to attach the object. All right, let's see in 3D. So this is how I'd like to insert this NHLE unit. And now we can start creating or uh, drawing the duct from this handling unit. To do so, I will come to the duct network toolbox again, I'll select the duct uh, function, and I'll move closer to uh, the handling unit that has some, have some connections. As you can see, DDS-CAD identified this connection for supply air and 160 millimeters duct. Just bear in mind the function use smart snaps must be activated in order to recognize connections. So I left click here and can start drawing the, the duct. I will just create a small piece of duct and left click because I would like to insert a transition. So I'll right mouse click and I'll click on the option reducer. The reducer can also be used as a transition. So uh, in the window here properties, we see a lot of parameters. One of them is the parameter C in which is to create uh, to, to change from a circular to a rectangular duct. So I will activate this parameter. But instead of a rectangular duct, I would like to use a oval duct. So to do so, I will come to this product database of transition and left click. And I will select the oval category, the uh, steel sheet uh, from the oval, oval duct uh, category. We don't see any result, so just click in show more and all products from this list will be uh, available or visible. I will select the muffle oval 192 to 80 and click OK. Now, I'll also change the duct type that will be created from the transition. So click on this uh, three dots button below and I will also select the oval category and steel sheet oval flat and I'll select the same size. Okay, now I could also increase the, the length of this transition. So I'll insert like 50 millimeters and click OK. And I can start drawing my oval duct from the transition. So I'll left click to insert a band and I'm going to the living room in which I will left click again to go up and I found a beam. In this case, it's an, it's an IFC beam because this beam comes from the IFC model. I will select this first option in which I can select how I would like to uh, climb or avoid this clash. So I will select the angle 45 degrees and from over or under option, I will select under and I also have this distance to climb. I'll click OK and DDS card automatically climb uh, down, climb under to avoid from the beam. I'll left click again to insert a band and move to uh, over all the bedroom. At the end, I'll left click again, right mouse click and in the context menu, I'll select the option and with lid and I'll click OK. All right. I still have my duct function 
uh, activated. And if I move closer to the band, the band connection is recognized. I'm doing this because I would like to convert this band to a T. So I left click and automatically it's converted to a oval duct T, oval T, like this. So just click OK and a oval of the same size is recognized. So I'll click OK and I just keep drawing. I'm going to the end of the hallway, left click and end with a lid again. Let's see the result in 3D. So this is what we have created. Now to conclude this design, I will insert Earth terminals. To do so, in this type of designing that I would like to insert the diffuser below the terminal, I will keep drawing the, the, the duct. So I activated the function again and I will move to the duct system in which I will left click to insert a T. Instead of this oval duct, I will insert a saddle piece. So to change the T type, I come to the three dots button and I, in the circular duct, I will select saddle piece, round, and I will select a circular of 100 diameter. Click OK. <clears throat> now, I want to change the rotation. So instead of right, I will select down like this. And I'll click OK. Now, did the SCAD recognize the same size for the duct? I click OK to draw. And in absolute height, this is the 2.4 mounting height in which I will insert the air terminal. Just click OK. And I will right mouse click to end with an air terminal. Uh, in the air terminal product database, we can select the, the the diffuser type we would like to, to, to use. So in the three dots button, I have already selected from supply, air valve, in ceiling, air valve 100. Click OK, click OK, and here it is. Let's see in 3D the result. Like this. So instead of creating this branch over and over again, I can simply select everything and select the option repeat branch. I will select this first copy branch option, click OK, and I will click where I would like to insert other diffusers. So I'll click here, I will click on the living room below, in the living room above, and one in each bedroom. And for the master bedroom, I'll click twice. So this is the result in the floor plan and let's see the result in a 3D. If you like this video, share with your colleagues. If you have any questions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers.